Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see the concept of SSAS Diplomat Wizard. So, we will treat this particular video tutorial as the first part for the deployment series. That is, we will have uh, multiple videos on SSAS deployment and we will treat this particular as the first part for the deployment. That is, in this video tutorial, we will cover the concept of Diplomat Wizard. Okay, so now for this tutorial, let us start with the cube that we had developed in our earlier video tutorial. Now, if we go to properties and deployment, we can see that we have selected processing option as full. And the server mode is deploy all, right? We have also specified server name and database name over here, fine. And if you go to the build part, then we can see that the output is slash bin folder. So where is it lying? It's actually lying in our SSS dev3 solution. We have got a slash bin folder. Okay, so let's go to that folder. So this is the folder. Okay, SSS dev3 slash bin. Right now, there is there are no files lying in this folder. Okay, so now, once we right click and once we say build instead of deploy or process we are just asking SSS to build the project okay so we are not deploying it on the server and we are not processing the data part right we are only doing the deploy part so the build is successful so we are only doing the build part and it is successful so let's go to our bin folder and now we can observe that there are four files created out of which the first file has the maximum size and it's the database deployment contents file. So this is the main file and it internally uses these three files during the deployment process. Okay. So now how to use this file so for this with the help of this file, actually we can deploy our SSAS cube inside our SSAS database. Okay. So for this, let us go to SQL Server 2014 NRC Services Deployment Wizard. Okay, so the Deployment Wizard starts, and we need to specify the database file. Now, by database file we mean this first one. Okay, AS database with the extension of AS database. That is Analysis Services Database Deployment Contents file. So for this, let us go to our cube now inside bin this file is lying right so when we go inside the bin folder it shows this file so let us select it so now let us click next now if you remember then we had specified these options over here right we have specified the name of the server and the database to specify these two things was not compulsory when we are interested only in building the project. Okay. If you want to deploy or process, these things are required. But if you want to only build, then these things are not compulsory. Okay. But as we had already given these values over here, it has taken those values as the default values over here. This we can change. So if you want to change the server, we can change it over here. And if you want our cube to get deployed in some other other database with some other name then we can change it over here okay so but right now let's keep it as it is okay so let's click next now there are some options for partitions so you, if you go by the first option then it will replace all the partitions and let's go by the default option for roles and members also which means new roles or members will be added and the existing ones will be retained next now over here we want we have to specify the base database from where data is fetched okay so base database in our case is lying on this database engine okay and this is the name of the database okay so it's correct if you want we can change it over here now usually in production environment we will not go by service account so Let's do one thing. Let's change this to something else. Okay. Okay. So let's go here. 
and let's go to the database engine let's go to logins copy okay so let's use the administrator user okay let us change this thing also to administrator user okay so now what we are saying is that we will connect using administrator user okay also if you want our logs our error logs to be present at some other location okay at, at location other than the default locations then we can specify the full path over here similarly if you want to change the storage location of the database or the cube measure groups then we can change the locations over here now these are very important uh, features provided in the deployment wizard because this can impact performance see the data ideally what you would like to do is you would like to have this measure groups deployed in different drives okay so that reading of data from one drive or one cube doesn't impact reading of data from the other cube right or the other major group so that's why you will ideally like to have different major groups which are there in different partitions right we will like ideally like to have these partitions or major groups to be deployed in different drives right so in this way you can change the storage location over here now when we are deploying using our development environment when we are going over here and uh, taking the deploy option we were not able to get these options of specifying the exact place where you want to or the storage location for the cube as well as major groups right but now over here we are able to specify the exact storage locations which we want so this is kind of adding flexibility to our deployment process and this is very much useful from the performance point of view now database storage location also will have an impact right so this all things you can specify over here it is written that keeping it empty will mean the default data directory so right now i want these deployments to happen in the default data directory so i will just keep it empty i will not change the values but these are very important values these values can be changed uh, at, in the production environment for performance improvements okay now if that is using the storage locations now let's go to the next button over here we'll select the full processing option right next now if you want to generate the deployment script you can click this okay if you click this if you go to next if you come back see what happens it has generated this xmla script over here in the bin folder okay so if you want you can generate the script in this way now and this script you can schedule later on for deployment through SSS jobs uh, that is through database uh, agent jobs right but right now what we'll do is we will deploy it we'll, we don't want to create the script we let us deploy it right now okay so we have clicked the next button and the deployment has started right so the deployment has completed so let's click next so it's giving us a message that the deployment has been successfully finished so let's click finish now how to verify whether deployment has happened or not so for that let's go to our SSS, SSS database right now we are not able to see so just refresh it and we are now able to see our db underscore 3 database right so this means our deployment has now happened through this particular file this database file created by building the our SSAS project right our SSAS cube so I hope friends this particular video tutorial on SSAS deployment wizard is useful to you thank you